As the saying goes, wisdom comes with age. This is reminiscent of the late cleric Ezekiel QT, whose grey hair represented the wisdom the venerated apostle had accumulated over the course of his 100 years. This week in South Africa, QT passed away. He is known for creating Zimbabwe Assemblies of God Africa Zeoga, the largest independent Pentecostal church in the nation. This signaled the end of a ministry that had lasted for eight decades. His passing sparked a flood of condolence notes from across the political spectrum. Emerson Unengogwa, the president of the opposing ZANU-PF party, and Nelson Chamisa, the opposition leader. Showing respect for the centenarian is evidence of his influence in politics. His passing signaled the end of a dream he began in 2019, months after Zimbabwe's historic and contentious 2018 general elections. As a result of the elections, Unengogwa and Chamisa, the then leader of the MDC alliance, found themselves at odds, putting the nation in a tumultuous situation. In an effort to resolve their political disagreements, Umning Gogwa and Chomisa were invited to the negotiating table by QT and other religious leaders. The dinner was held at the local Harare Hotel and Opa Machinguri Kashiri, the fourth key figure in Umning Gogwa's party, attended on behalf of Umning Gogwa. On the stage, QT asked Chomisa and Umning Gogwa to put Zimbabwe's interests ahead of their own and bury their political beef. Sometimes one must set aside their own interests in order to make room for someone else. Similar to how married couples sacrifice some of their interests to maintain their union, QT added. A divided Zimbabwean society was given new hope by QT's gesture that the two political heavyweights would smoke a peace pipe and set the nation on a new course. But, four years after the bold attempt to get the major players to the table for negotiations, the two have continued to ignore one another, widening political rifts. According to political expert Lesra Soti, the unsuccessful dialogue was a chance lost for Chamisa and Umningogwa to connect. The political environment in Zimbabwe is the root cause of all its issues. To promote long-term socio-economic development, the nation needs to address its political situation. In light of this, the discourse between President Emerson Umningogwa and opposition leader Nelson Chamisa that QT and colleagues attempted to start in 2019 but ended in stillbirth was a squandered opportunity on the part of politicians and the public populace. These two presidents ought to get together and settle current national problems, he remarked.